here's my goalie mask and there's not a lot of stories in this mask i just asked the painter to paint like a wild mask with uh just like a bunch of wild logos he sent me a couple of different uh, sketches and I picked the one I liked the most and then there's just a Finnish flag. And then actually this is, uh, here's a logo of a podcast of a friend of mine back home. Boon Taka, direct translation would be from behind a tree, but English you could probably say it's more like blindside. It's kind of like spit and chiclets, but obviously a little smaller and in Finnish. I'm always using a white cage. I've tried other colors too, but when I try to look through them, this is the best one uh, for me to see the puck through. I always like simple masks and, and part of it is probably like I have no imagination. <laughs> this helmet is actually more or less a recreation of my last helmet when I was with the Wild, but that's the Hamburglar, but he's supposed to be kind of Paul Bunyan. And then on the other side, we have Babe the Blue Ox. Kind of the reason for that is I was trying to think of some sort of Minnesota theme or character that would be funny as the Hamburglar. And then obviously with COVID and the pandemic, added the face masks on, on Babe and the Hamburglar. So that's really the new addition this year. I don't give too much direction to the painter on, on what I want other than a couple basic ideas. And one of the funniest parts to me now is seeing where they place the hamburgers and stuff. Babe's got one there on the horn. And then just on the back, tied in the the green tree with my wife and two boys' initials. And then the puzzle piece is for my nephew, Finn, who actually, he, he has autism. And the, the puzzle piece is for Autism Speaks. And that's an organization that myself and my wife have always supported throughout the years. Ever since I've been with the Rangers, the artist, Dave Gunnerson, he always wanted to do a, a Ghostbusters theme mask for someone that played for the Rangers and he came up with some pretty cool sketches and stuff and ever since then it's kind of been following me around everywhere I go people are like you have to bring the Ghostbusters helmets to to Edmonton to Calgary to Mini so he just keeps evolving the designs and stuff like that so we got a couple of the Ghostbusters on the side there um, got the state of hockey symbol under one of the buckles here number there on the chin you can see some of the cool designs that's kind of uh, almost holographic on the inside with the team logo and stuff like that. He can do some pretty amazing stuff. The 20 year anniversary symbol we put on the top on both sides here. And then just uh, cool graphics and stuff like that are on the top there. And then on the back plate we just have the uh, my kids initials, Landon Thomas and Sloan Colleen. For the most part I just tell him I trust him. He's He knows me so well by now. We've been working together for 10 years now so I have really no superstitions. The only thing I really care about is just having the kids initials on the back and and the rest of it is kind of his canvas.